Hola. my door to my room. Okay, now that we're alone. Shh. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Just, I'm gonna put you guys over here. Hold on. Because you know me. I'm tired of holding my phone. Hi, Jacob. Hello. So... whispering because it's late people are sleeping you think i live alone in la no you have to be good okay i know i'm ready to receive my powers do you guys hear all that shit that's happening december 21st guys guys shit's about to go down did you hear they just passed that stimulus check 7 30 a.m. here well it's 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 apparently supposed to be the end of the world today guys there's a lot of stuff happening we get six hundred dollars how exciting big six hundred dollars what are we gonna do with so much money i can't wait to buy a house oh my god yes i can't wait to buy a car i can't wait to pay my two thousand dollar rent yeah. And it's the first day of winter, and I'm over here dressed like it's summer. Oh, shut up. Hey, yo, Kev. I probably don't, but I do. <laughs> your, your superpowers kicked in. Yeah, I used up all my unemployment money. I haven't heard back from the government. I'm trying to apply. I need to get a job, like, ASAP. But anyways... You missed my ass. Well, thank you for missing my bath. My ass. Um, I am. I don't know who else has heard about the stuff that's happening because of the times. It is. Um, about. Uh, late. I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. You were a yo Kev and then you left. How dare you? Te fuiste. Te largaste. Me decepcionaste. Me arrancaste. Te marchaste. What's good? What's up, Jonathan? Um, yeah, so I'm just thinking about what's it about to go down tomorrow. I feel like tomorrow's gonna be well, tonight, I don't know what day. Oh, 30 more minutes, guys. Apparently, Saturn and Jupiter are supposed to, like, align. I don't really know much about astrology. <sighs> yes, you can. Throned God. I'm very expensive, though. Yeah, I know. I, I need to be in a telenovela or something, but apparently everything's closed right now, so I'm making my own shit. Yes, I have. Mike, I have, and I'm over here like, let me just, holy shit, oh my gosh, no, David, go to sleep, go to motherfucking sleep, David, you're killing me, Smalls, I'm down a crazy rabbit hole with it, yeah, dude, me too, I'm over here like, about to chill in my bed and just like, meditate on it and try to gain all of the powers and everything over here like this is what i want my future to look like <laughs> all i need is some weed or something and just get into that zen mode i don't know you know i believe that i believe that one two one two oh stop it arky you're so funny you felt great i'm gonna meditate tomorrow for sure dude i'm gonna be feeling all that zen i'm like this is what i want my future to look like um Please let the government give me more than $600. Um, 
please delete all of my credit card debt. Um, please stop all rent payment for everybody. Um, please let me get some chocolate. Um, <laughs> I'm being so silly right now. Um, they didn't even pass it yet. <laughs> they didn't. Freaking comedian in the house, guys. I'm trying. You know what's so funny? I've been editing for the past four hours, sitting here. And one, so this is what I got going on, okay? Are you guys ready? Are you ready? I'm sure you did. I'm sure you meditated a lot of great things. Meditation is a very powerful source. Um, hold on. So I'm doing this thing and I feel like I started it extremely late and I should have started it way sooner. But it's um, 20 things I learned in 2020. And I feel like I should have started this like December 10th. So I'm kind of late on it. So I'm trying to see if I could pretty much edit 20 videos before the end of the year. I know it's a lot, it's a lot. But um, each video is going to talk about the 20 things that I learned, right? <sighs> I don't think I can do this, but I'm going to try, okay? The first one is, is like, do what scares you, right? And at the beginning of the year, I did something that really scared me, which was stand-up comedy. And it's so interesting to go back and listen to all of my bombing intense bombing on stage, you know, when everything was open, especially in January. In January, I hit it hard with the open mics because my goal was to do 500 open mics in one year. <laughs> and it was like my first paid show in January. So <laughs> I started getting desperate on stage and I started talking about masturbating and all of this shit. And I was like, and it's like dead quiet because these jokes don't even make sense. I'm like, just really bad stuff. Yeah, just that's what happens when you get desperate and you just want laughs or something. But anyways, I um, I said some really inappropriate things on there. I was like, I talk, but I kind of want to talk about that. I know, I know. I was saying that I don't. You know, I was saying I would, I don't. Fart. No, I know. I even tried the fart. The fart jokes weren't working, so I just decided, F it. I'm gonna just do something, just whatever. Like, this isn't working. I'm gonna just revert to extra rated R. Oh, yeah. The, the confidence level with, with the rated R things, you could tell, was like negative 20. You know, it was just really bad. You know, when you get to that level, when you're just like that desperation for laughs. But anyways, so with the 20 things that I learned in 2020, I kind of want to do like individual videos and stuff on a cruise. <laughs> yeah, I know for sure. Oh, goodness. I know. I <laughs> know. Can you hear some ideas? Uh, two ideas for what, though? Um. Okay, so something else oh, of jokes. Oh goodness, I I don't think it's in me right now to 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 do on a set, but I just kind of want to talk about like doing things that scare you because I feel like I did a lot. Twenty twenty. Actually, it was a really good year for me. It was probably like the worst, best year for a lot of people because, you know, I feel like it caused a lot of people to slow down with life, you know? Not everything is like opened. Oh yeah, and I have so many jokes on that. Skirt, skirt, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so um, that's interesting. You say that. Um, <laughs> a 
Oh my gosh. What the fuck? David, I know. Ya sé lo que estás haciendo porque estoy... Ya, no. Yo no voy a decir nada, güey. Nada. Seriously. 2020 wasn't necessarily bad for me, just extremely weird. Yeah, it's so weird. It, it's too, it's still weird. It honestly feels like a dream. It's like a dream. Yeah. Hola. Yeah. That's cool. But, um. It's like a dream let's <laughs> meditation tomorrow. Yeah, it'd be cool to do that. I've been doing I can't meditate by myself still. I have to do guided meditation. I grew so much this year by slowing down. No, I agree. I feel like it it made everybody slow down. I mean, think about all the party goers that go LA. I mean, there's always something happening every weekend and I feel like I kind of felt like I was a failure in life because I'm like, man, I'm not out there in those parties. Like people are just like out there doing stuff, you know? And now everything's closed, especially in LA. Like LA is the worst. I can't even tell you how many celebrities have already moved out in LA. Yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. You saved, you saved a small, <laughs> it's a good thing you're not a girl who likes shopping. Like. I think I spent a little bit more than I needed to. <laughs> I can't help it, okay? I can't help it. I was just like, hello, Amazon. I need to stop using Amazon, though. I feel like we all need to stop using Amazon. Amazon is taking over the world. I don't know. I don't know. It just kind of gives us purpose, you know? Just, it gives us hope. I don't know. It's like... <laughs> We need that dopamine fix, and if we're not getting it through drugs, we're like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna go shopping. Dude, toilet paper sales went through the roof, man. I bet you anything when they restock Cha Cha Charming is like it's going up to it's going up to forty ninety nine per roll. I don't know. I don't understand what was the deal with the toilet paper, and I'm sure everybody's got toilet paper right now in their garage and are they crying about it like we're gonna run out like guys come on that is just wild and i'm sure there's a lot of you guys that are in here right now that are part of that toilet paper trend and went out and stocked up and all i gotta say is do you have any left because i need some i think there's some in the store now but i am running low actually Oh man, it's funny. <sighs> Use your hands. No, everybody's getting bidets now. It's so weird. Like, people are like, oh my god, is that a bidet? It's like, yes, it's my bidet actually. <laughs> Feel free to use it, my darling. It's nice and cozy. Some people even got heat warmers and shit. Some people got real fancy with their toilets this year. They're just like, upper class like I'm like damn like calm down did I stock on toilet paper no I did not stock up on toilet paper a bidet is I'll see all the guys it's like a guy thing like honey what should I get you for Christmas this year <laughs> well if you're gonna ask um I would say get me a bidet I want me a bidet for my butt talks I want my butt talks nice and clean and while you're at it honey Give me one of those seat warmers too. Mm. One of those seat warmers. That way I can just chill and watch TikToks in the morning. See what those wild kids are up to. Yeah, honey. Actually, get me two for the downstairs bathroom. <laughs> and I want my cheeks to shine. Shine bright like a star. Like a star for tomorrow. December 21st. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all know I'm right. Y'all know I'm right. Ladies, if you're listening, get your man of the day. <laughs> I don't know. Mods are on point. Hell yeah, they are. 
I don't hire them for nothing. I don't pay them. For, oh, I actually don't pay them. I should pay my mods. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Destructy. Appreciate you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Fifteen, fifteen dollars minute wage. I don't know about that. Oh gosh, I just got like the biggest headache ever right now. I think it's because it's December. Tw it's almost December twenty first. Oh no, the energy shifting. Oh, oh no. It's the end of the world. Oh, I'm gonna miss. You guys feel that? Oh man. There's like no more. No, I'm not allergic to anything. Maybe. I can't. I can't find. I'll open it in a second. I don't know. I just got like a really big migraine. And that's something that I saw in the TikToks for December 21st. That like your head's going to hurt a little bit. The energy's going to be shifting. That you need to manifest your shit. I'm now lactose intolerant. <laughs> no, don't say that. I don't want to be lactose intolerant. I know. <laughs> Leave me alone, Chate. Don't be a hater, okay? Because I'm getting more education than you are. Alright. Saturn and Pluto are lighting up. I thought it was Saturn and Jupiter. <laughs> That's what this one TikTok said. There are pressure points to take away head rates. I know a lot. I really haven't taken like deep breaths all day though. Is it Saturn and Jupiter? I don't know. We're talking about what's about to happen on December 21st. Apparently, like, it's supposed to be the end of the world. It's supposed to be Manifestation Day. It's supposed to have... It's supposed to be just a really big deal. Yeah. I think I got the pressure points. Uh, thank you for that. Whoever gave me that advice. <laughs> Who said that? I, I don't know. Somebody said that. Let me stretch. Guys, I don't think it's ever going to go away. I'm sorry. And I'm happy with it. You know, I don't care. I really don't. But, um, that's quite fine. Thank you. Thank you for that. So tomorrow I'm going to go hiking. I'm trying to do different places in LA. I want to like explore more. I've been really into hiking lately. I just didn't hike this weekend at all. Like. Saturday and Sunday just because I've I don't know I've just been feeling really like lady low energy I don't know where that's coming from but could be like hormones or I don't know what but I'm like super tired you yeah, guys I'm excited to show you guys the work I'm doing right now the videos if you guys aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you should totally do that. Um, you should actually even watch my film. That's my, my, my movie right there that I did. Uh, if you're new here, Si Son Nuevos es una película en español, super chistosa. Si gustan reírse un poco, se llama El Rancho. It's on my YouTube channel. Actually, I just got um, good news. I got um, accepted to a film festival with it, so that's exciting.
Thank you. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's really exciting. What's crazy is that when I applied to the film festivals, it was ridiculously expensive. It honestly feels like a scam when you're applying to these film festivals because we're talking like over a hundred dollars, seventy to a hundred dollars just to apply to one film festival. So and there's so many film festivals, right? So I looked up the cheapest and I applied to just one because there wasn't many cheap film festivals. And I applied to one film festival and I just I got in. I don't know, like it was seven dollars to apply, so I'm like I don't know. Film festival is a film festival, so I get an award, I get something, I can put it on IMDb, the credits. Yeah, I know there's a lot of film festivals. Like the big ones are like Sundance, you know, like, but those are like really difficult to get in. Like your movie has to be like Harkins shit, you know? Man, there's gonna be a time I can't even compare Harkins anymore. People are gonna be like, what's Harkins? I'm like, well, it used to be this really big movie theater people would go to to go see the movies. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's got to be, like, top quality, like, stuff. Yeah. Lorda perfecto. Sí, perfecto. Jupi. Ah, I like that. Yo nunca he escuchado eso. Pepe. Jupi. 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 Sí, está padre. ¿Cómo escribiste el nombre? No lo he visto así. Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah, my roommates actually watched it tonight. They really seemed to enjoy it. So it was pretty cool to see that, to see um, my work being shown. And I'm really proud of it. I'm, I'm still working on the sequel for Joaquin Coming to America. And I have a lot of ideas that I want to do. It's just taking time. But I'm telling myself that it's okay to take your time, especially with things like that. Because, you know... I don't know, I feel like things come to me naturally, and, you know, we'll see. I think it's going to be really funny, though. I have a lot of great ideas for it. Um, yeah. Can I be in your movie? I mean, if you want to. If you, are you an actor? Do you, are you funny? Let's see. Guys, could you believe 2020 is almost over? Isn't that crazy? How does that make you guys feel? Holy smokes. Good. Oh my goodness. I just can't believe it. Like we we've, we've come a long way. No, fala portuguese, no, no falo. Do you write original music in your movie? I write and record songs. Oh my god, you know what's so funny? I'm actually looking for people who do uh do music because a lot all of my music from El Rancho came from this website where I pay like I don't know, I paid like $80 a month and it gives me this library of like non-copyright music. And a lot of the music I looked up up was like Latin music or um, kind of uh, Spaniard, Flamingo type music. So I would love to have original music or a score for my next film. A lot of it is comedy. So... Um, if you do music like that, that's kind of like comedic thing, then yeah. Hey, thanks, Fleefo. These glasses I got to help me with blue light because I look at my phone a lot and my screen, so it just kind of takes away the blue. Oh, really? Goodbye, Porcupine. I would love to hear it. What's your YouTube so I can watch it? Um, my YouTube is UbiTube, the name that I have here on. But you have to type in UbiTube and then you do El Rancho. I love this tripod because uh, I don't have to um, hold my phone. It's so great. It's so great. This weekend where you will hear it and if you like it, I'll send you a file. I would love that. Thank you so much. 
Thank you, thank you. Yeah. That's cool. Well, you guys have been super cool. I was totally kidding about this, by the way. I really need water in my life. But I did try this ginger beer spice stout. It's from Trader Joe's. Not sure if any of y'all shop. Where, where do you guys grocery shop? Do you guys have your grocery sh store favorite? Like, I don't know, Stater Brothers, Vons, G what is it? G Sprouts. Not Sprouts, but um, Walmart. <laughs> I love that's That's real. Target, right? Walmart's a part of that. Walmart's all good. It's all good. Um, Costco, really, Bill? Dang, you buy in bulk. We have different brands. Oh, that's cool. What are the brands in New Zealand? I'm kind of interested. I'm curious to know. Or is it like small businesses? You know, I actually went to like an Argentinian grocery store here in LA and it was so interesting to go into these like, and I actually also in Koreatown, they have like a Filipino store, like Chinese store, like grocery stores. And it's so interesting to see. Like one time I went to a Japanese store and I had like a whole bunch of things from like Japan and uh, different desserts and stuff like that. I think it's so cool. Yeah. Hello from Brazil. Hey Brazil. Hola Fred. What's up? I love Brazil. Did you guys know in Brazil there is a state called Uberlandia? Uberlandia. I could not stop laughing when I found out about that. Uberlandia. Bro. <laughs> like, oh, where are you from? Uberlandia? I'm like, it's like Uber born there? It's like, no, but we love Uber. I was like, I'm sure you do. <laughs> Uberlandia. <laughs> okay, Bollywood actress. I I'll take that. I'll totally take that. Hey, what's up, dog walker guy? I know, where have you been? Why aren't you joining my scopes? You can check it out straight away. Guys, I still haven't used the new app. Like, I know... I know that per Periscope's gonna be gone. Like, the company has completely decided to leave. <laughs> I'm so sad. All these years for nothing. For nothing. I know. Well, question. What brings you in tonight? You know, especially on a Sunday. Tomorrow's a work day. Shouldn't you be sleeping? Which app? What do you mean, which app? Good night, UV. I'm gonna pass out. Aww. Good night, AA Strumming. I'm trying to figure it out. You're trying to figure it out, too? I know. That's why I'm going, Dog Walker. Have you been using it? ¿Dónde te vas a ver ahora que ya no estés en Peri? Hay una aplicación que se llama HAPS. H-A-P-P-S. Es donde todo el mundo se está yendo. It's weird. Yeah, it is. I don't. I don't know. We're gonna have to figure it out. Or I don't know. I may just go on Instagram Live, but it's just. I don't know. I feel like Instagram Live is just weird for me. Oh, okay, for sure. You joined what though? Oh, dog walker. You joined Haps. Okay. Pepe ese. Pepe ese. That's funny. Do you guys know any funny names? Question. Like, what are some funny names? Um, like Dolores. Dolores is a funny name because, like, Dolores means pain. Dolores, stop cracking your back. Mm -hmm. Dear Dolores, my cunt is funny. My cunt. Oh, that is funny. You be hunt. You be hunting. Ha ha ha. Goodwill hunting. You be hunting. <laughs> Can you check Katrina Kaif on Google, please? Look here, it's just... Yeah. Gotta figure out Patreon, I know you can go live. Really? Jonathan, I don't know if we can. But I feel like it wouldn't grow, though. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't mind going live on there from time to time, but, like, the cool thing about... That I love about Perry is that it just kind of, like... Anybody from around the world can just join in, you know? And then you're on, like, the kind of For You page, you know? I feel like I might end up doing TikTok, but... It, TikTok's weird for me still, but, um, you know, 
I have no idea, Gary. Oh, that's sweet, Jonathan. Thank you. That's very kind. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know. It's too much for me sometimes, you know? Like, I feel like I have my, um my moments when I'm in it and I'm like really into it. Like today I haven't even touched it like at all. But then, um, you know, sometimes I try just because I feel like that's what's trendy right now. And it's hard for me to, um, it's really difficult for me to, to do the trendy things that are being done. Like the whole ghost challenge thing. It's just weird for me because uh, I just feel like it's not me and it's sort of, but it's sad, sadly, it's what kind of garners attention and that's how you're going to be placed in the For You page and more people get to see you. And it's the same thing with the Indian videos that I'm doing, you know, it's not 100% me, but I'm just, I need to, you know, in order, I need to do what's trendy is what I'm saying, which sometimes is not my favorite stuff to do, but, you know, I'm working on it. Um, haps, así dices que se llama. Sí, así se llama. Yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. Marketing often dictates art. Yes. Yes, that cannot be any more true. Marketing does often dictate art. Yeah, it's it's really sad. And, and that, isn't it crazy, though? Like, as the years progress and technology and apps are getting smarter and smarter and uh, they, they find ways to be more efficient. It's like they have more control on what... Well, the algorithm is the thing that has all the power now. Oh, thank you so much, Jonathan. Yeah. The algorithm is what has all the power now, you know? I think back in the day when YouTube first started, people had the freedom to post whatever they wanted. It, and it didn't matter what it was. It would be seen. It would be there. And, and now it's it's all by this algorithm or ads or just like a specific placement or if you're the chosen one you know what I mean like I feel like Charlie D'Amelio that one girl from TikTok that just became uber famous has like the most viewers like she does a dance video and it garners over 12 20 30 million views over a dance video and I think it's because she was the chosen one, you know, it's like these big people, uh, it's either people who choose it or like the algorithms, like you are the chosen one, you must go, you know, like that scene from <laughs> Toy Story. <laughs> yeah, oh well, yeah, adapt, improvise, overcome, yeah, I agree, but um, anyways, dang, there's a lot of you guys on here tonight, y'all need to go to sleep. Mucha gente esta noche. Vayanse a dormir. It was so sad. It's like I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking at my list of all of the the, the places I want to visit. And I don't think I went to any of these. Because everything closed down in LA. It's so sad. Yeah, I am a little tired. I'm going hiking tomorrow, so I should probably get some sleep. But, yeah. <sighs> mm. What's this? Why do people have different accounts and different scopes? I don't know, that's a good question. A good question. Oh yeah, I tried to learn sign language this year. I forgot about that. My drone broke this year. 
I stood in line for two hours for toilet paper this year. I ate a lot of bags of hot Cheetos this year. I did a lot of skits. Oh, I got yelled at at work for no reason. Um, I joined an improv class that shut down in like a week later. Sorry, I'm just looking at my journal. So many things. Yeah. Yeah, actually this year was pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely not the best year in, in making money though, I'll say. At all. I need to change that. I'm really interested in learning more about stocks and stuff like that. I think that's definitely gonna be one of my New Year's resolutions for next year. Yeah. Yeah, safety first. It's just, um, it just protects me from the screen. My eyes like stare at the screen too much, so that's why. Commercial real estate. Stocks are an art of its own. I agree. Very stylish. Thank you. You know, commercial real estate isn't bad, and I do have a drone. Maybe I will get into that. Kind of a marketing for real estate agents. That'd be cool. Yeah, you too, Jonathan. Yeah, me too. In hindsight, hell yeah, I did, Lefo. And and that's another thing too, is like for my YouTube video, I kind of am a little bit reluctant to tell to say that, that I had a good year, you know? But at the same time, I feel like it's so easy to just go down the negative trail and talk about all of like the bad things that happened this year and I think everybody is well aware of all the bad things that happened this year so that's why I kind of want to focus the video on the good that happened you know for me and then maybe um maybe my experiences or, or my lessons that I've learned will inspire others to carry that on with them for the new year of 2021 yeah I just say that's what was so good about it. Yeah, for sure. You choose to see well if I Yeah, exactly. I totally agree with that, you know. And my friend and I were talking about that. Um I went to I I was speaking to one of my good friends and she and I were saying how um she has a friend that uh, the car got broken into and um, got towed because it was it was it was just towed and it got broken into, and she said that her friend reacted in a very calm manner, and she said, "Wait, why aren't you like upset that your car got broken into and it got towed?" And she just was like, "I mean, it happened. I mean, as she's like picking it up and paying the money to pick up her car that got broken into." And she's like, what can I do? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to get my car now. Like, well, how do you feel? And she's just like, well, I'm upset, but I'm not going to let my emotions. She got upset, but she wasn't like, she wasn't allowing her emotions to c completely control her, you know? And it didn't. she didn't allow it to, to affect her, you know? She's just kind of looking at, what can I do now? You know, do I need to go find the money or call friends or family to come help me do i need to what steps can i take to to maybe uh, not allow that to happen again maybe i shouldn't leave my backpack in the back of the car you know what i mean um how old is she i think she's like 32 yeah but anyways we were just kind of talking about how we shouldn't let our emotions completely control us i think it's it's okay to be sad but i don't think it's okay to stay there you know i think that you need to get out of it um whether it's i think music is extremely powerful and if you if you listen to music it could really help 
thank you and then also finding people that 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 talk about mental health and, and and knowing that you're not alone and that's actually another one of my lessons that I learned this year is that community is so important you know community is very important and I feel like I constantly need to go to my cousins I need to go see one of my cousins I need to go visit my sister in Arizona and um you know if and if you are alone you know what I would suggest is is find something that interests you and find a group with it right I mean I can't even tell you guys like the power of the internet is really big and you can use it for good or you could use it for bad you know so I would say find find a group that maybe has the same interest that aligns with the same interest as you that could be you know maybe cat lovers or dog lovers and you know a, a lot of people are now having like zoom meetings zoom groups you know like there used to be this this um thing called meetup.com right where you meet strangers maybe i i one time went to that because i was trying to learn italian and i met a lot of really awesome people but you just have to be open-minded and even though if you're afraid or you're nervous because you know it's just scary because it is scary you know um just know that that you're not alone there's a lot of people that are going to those groups because they feel the same way you do but um anyways uh yeah there's like zoom groups and stuff like that like another thing too is find a church you know like and even if you don't like depending on your religion belief you know maybe you're a Jehovah Witness or you're Catholic or you're Christian or you're into Buddha I mean I think that's the easiest way to kind of um uh to meet a, a community you know no I've never heard of experience project hi Sean so good to see you in my scope have you seen Tenet no I haven't seen Tenet let me see Great insight, yeah. Horse lovers might not be what you think. That's funny. You like riding bikes? Oh my god, there's such a community here in LA for bike riders. And like they are always meeting up and like going around with their bikes. Like it could be like motorcycle bikes or like the mountain bike groups, you know? But I mean you just have to try, you know. If you if you don't try and you're just like staying in your bed and it's like you're just gonna repeat that same cycle over and over. But yeah. Or like take a different route to work, like try different things, you know. Don't always do the same routine. Because routine is not good sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, I always try to do stuff. Try to get out, you know. But um you also have to be safe though because of COVID, you know. So that's another thing a lot of people have a dilemma with. But you know, like I go to church and it's an outside service and you go with your car and I stay in my car and I just like listen to the service. You know, and after you can go out, they have coffee and they, they give people coffee and stuff. And there's so many churches in LA or anywhere probably where you guys are at, you know. And I know the holidays are coming up, so it's gonna be difficult for a lot of people, especially if you're like alone and stuff but if you have family like cherish your family like you're so being be grateful that you have family because a lot of people don't have family and stuff and it's really sad you know especially like really old people that are like you know maybe have lost their significant other like I really pray for them it breaks my heart to to think about it to be honest with you because I used to work at a restaurant and in the restaurant I'd always um in the restaurant I'd always um I'd always see people eating by themselves and it, it made me really sad but some of them were really happy you know what I mean like they try to find the little things in life to be grateful for you own your own motorcycle it's super cool Sean you're Christian yeah I'm like Christian I'm like Christian Catholic I kind of I'm trying to figure out like my beliefs and everything but yeah I don't think it's bad if you eat by yourself, but as long as you're okay with it. Some people like are not okay with that, you know. But if you're if you're present, because like I I really enjoy eating by myself sometimes. To be honest with you, I I feel like 
I can be present with my food and be grateful for my food or I can just kind of like watch a, a video if I feel like it or I love going to oh I used to go to coffee shops all the time by myself too all the time and I loved it because you know you can always like chat it up with somebody or you know make a new friend or just kind of like learn something new or just people watch people watching is the best or just look at the the different decorations of the coffee shop I think I, I loved finding new coffee shops yeah it's so good to treat yourself I I totally agree it, treating yourself you should still treat yourself today you know try to find a different park I think I've really enjoyed nature recently this year oh that's so sweet well look at you there see there you go you already got like the the staff the staff inviting you that's awesome oh that's great that's so great weed and flowers weed and flowers <laughs> what are you gonna do post periscope i don't know i'm like sad about it like it still hasn't hit me you know but i don't know change is good change is good um you know maybe something else will pop up and i just have to start from the ground up again and it's okay to do that because it's another new journey and new learning experiences, right? Yeah. Guys, 2021 is the year I'm going to be 28. Remember about me crying when I turned 25 and I told you guys I'm really close to 30? Remember? Remember? <laughs> uh... Yes. I'm not religious, but if I did, it would be spiritual religion. I've been on Periscope for like five years already. Oh, always kind. Always kind. Yes, I agree, Fleefo. Dang, when's your birthday, Jonathan? You'll be good at 28. Oh, I don't know. I'm just nervous. I'm 27 right now. I got like six months before I turn. February 20th. Oh, shit. I need to mark that shit in my calendar. <sighs> I need to go to bed, guys. I'm super tired. It's been really fun chatting with you guys. My birthday is January. Oh, that's exciting. How old will you be? Twenty-seven. Oh, you're so young. Are you a boy or a girl? Oh, really, Jonathan? Thank you. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Yeah, it's pretty loud here in LA. Do you feel Mr. Krabs? <laughs> wow, you're so young, Sean. Wow, Sean, you're very young. That's amazing. How old are you? I'm 27. Spinning some knowledge. Yeah, that's kind of what I want the YouTube video to be about. And I want it to be like authentic and real and I mean it's it's good to just like practice with you guys though. I'm like Ugh. I'm always really comfortable talking to y'all on on the parry on the parry train. You know, I'll try, I try. But yeah, you know, to go to bed. Ah. Uh, I hope so, Sean. I hope so. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you guys haven't, I, I would love for you, um, any of you guys to join my Patreon. You could um, see a lot of really cool things on Patreon. I'd, I'd love to talk to you guys more directly and get to know y'all a little bit. Um, I'm working hard on posting a lot more content on there and I've posted quite a bit actually on there recently 
I'm kind of proud of myself for that. So I, that's one of my New Year's resolutions. Um, yeah, it's really easy to do, honestly, to join. Uh, you guys could honestly, I may be changing it next year to $3 a month instead of $1. Um, just because I feel like I'm posting a lot more content and it just takes a lot more time for me to do it. But uh, I do want to kind of, I want to read more next year and talk more about kind of what I was talking about tonight, you know, helping, helping God, helping, I don't know, just sharing my truth to, to maybe like help resonate with your, with you and, um, but it's like a lot of comedy stuff and things to make you, <laughs> make you laugh. Oh my gosh. Jonathan's been stressing, stressing me to, to put it to five, five dollars, but. I don't know. I feel like that's so much money for a lot of people. Yeah. Porcupine, I would love for you to join Patreon. I don't use Patreon once here. Here, go. I'll go. You stick. I don't use Patreon once here. Go. I'll just stick to my socials. Just stick to your socials. Make it 50. Yeah, right. It's too much. Yeah, no. I totally get it if you guys can't do it. I mean, you just get an email. And I post and stuff. It's sort of like a blog slash website for me, but it really helps. You know, I want to grow it because I just want to grow a community on there and stuff. And it's just cool to have, you know, I feel like I'm doing something with my life, kind of. And then when my tias talk to me in social gathering, Amy, how, what are you doing for work? I'm like, oh, I'm doing what I love. Thank you. And I'm getting paid. I don't know. Cuanto te pagan, mija? Um, well, you know, I've got like 30 people giving me money every month. Hi, <gasps> 30 people. I give bueno, mija. Good job. Good job. You know, the tias. I just want to impress the tias. That's my goal. My goal is to impress the tias. <laughs> I can remove my glasses on Patreon. So joy. My only wish is to please my tias. My only wish is to serve the gods. The hit, the hit. <laughs> yeah. Well, follow me on Instagram too. You can see all my pictures on there. For show, for show. But yeah. Bill, Joseph, Fred. Fred's in here. Sean. Yeah, I'm glad, Sean. It's always nice when you uh, jump on my scopes. My Instagram's YubiTube. Y-U-B-I-T-U-B-E. -E. Y-U-B as in boy. I-T-U-B-E. -E. Yeah. Yeah, I think you do, Sean. YubiTube, yeah, it's just um, remove the two at the end and it should be fine YubiTube I'll join you IG yes I need the new followers por favor I post a lot of sexy pictures on my Instagram you should go follow it oye Yubi te gustan los fails? wait si sí. Me gustan los que me escuchan. El que me escuche. Mira, calmado, calmado. Ya es tarde. Cálmense, por favor, ¿ok? My address is 5229 West Elm Street, Rome. ¿Ok? Send me gifts. Yes. And, um... Yeah. Solo quería hacerte reír. Ah, pues mira, ya lo hiciste, ya lo hiciste. Well, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. Get some sleep. Have a good Monday. Go hiking. Go do stuff outside. It's so good for you. You'll, you'll be happy you did it. And then when the day's over, wake up the next day and do it all over again. Hey Jonathan. Good night. Keep taking those dope ass pictures. Okay. 
I charged my phone for you guys tonight, by the way, if you guys didn't know, because you know how my phone's always dying? You're welcome. You're welcome. Muy frío para andar afuera. Está muy caliente en esta casa. Prendan el heater and it's freaking caliente. I don't know, thanks. Eight, 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 eight. Okay, bye. Oh, enjoy your dinner. Good night, Belle. Good night, Mario.